uh, here you are once again on uh, an old school Friday. So we got ourselves an old school Mac here in Mac R700 this time with the uh, the dealing add-on. And uh, yeah, pretty cool looking old truck. We got um, Sartana's free dump trailer on here. So we got free trunk, truck, free cabin, or sleeper edition, free trailer. The only thing we got paid here is the engine and the wheels are from the BPM modding. Although you can get the Trilex Dayton's from uh, the um, Steam Workshop. And uh, let's have a look where we are and what we're doing. So we're gonna, last time we took this road here, that was pretty wild with the Detroit in the, the 8V92 in that uh, 352. And this time we're going this road here, which looks a lot smoother, but Boy, I remember I took this a while back, and I think this is the one. Pretty scenic. It's nicely done. So let's go have a look and see what we make out with those uh, that Mexican road race. <laughs> there, man, there were some fast drivers in that last one. So we'll see what it's like on this road. And see how we do. All right. So we've got uh, 45,000 pounds of silage on here. They were moving it from one Bushnell farm to another. And if you remember in uh, Wednesday's video, I had this Sissel's root advisor down at the bottom of the screen there. And I was wondering if it was going to show me anything. And I thought at the end of it, oh darn it, didn't see anything there. Well, I missed it. And Jay uh, Kush, I th who I believe is Kataris, uh, pointed out in a comment that, yep, he saw, it was Jenna or somebody, job information scrolled by, so. And uh, when I was parking here, I caught out of the corner of my eye, I just saw it, so it's blue script, and it just, just missed it. So something happened, somebody did something good. Man, look at all the cars. What the heck? Look at this. What is going on here? They're like freaking rabbits. I'm uh, kind of on the wrong side of the road here. Maybe we got. I wonder if these guys play nice if you get out here. Can you stop them? Don't get run into. Well, we're awful close to getting hit. They just keep on coming. Oh, I see a break here. Maybe. Where are they spawning from? There we go. Jeez. Ah, that's one pile of traffic. We got a Mac END T. Uh, what are they again? Five. Five. Oh, I can't remember what the engine des designation is. But we got it hooked to an 18 speed instead of a Mac Tranny. So as I understand it, our little gold bulldog on the hood should be okay because he's on a chrome base. Well, look at the cows just standing around. <laughs> look pretty old. They look like, uh, oh, what's going on? Their frame rates here. Kind of bad for this truck. Should be better than that. Uh, it's weird. So anyway, um, yeah, the uh, I believe the chrome, or sorry, the uh, gold dog on a gold base is Mac engine, Maxidine, or and transmission. And if you have the chrome base, you've got somebody else's transmission. If you got a chrome dog and chrome base, you're not using the Mac That's drive true. line. That's my understanding of it. All that traffic up here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man. They got to go through there. Oh, drive like you do on the highway. What a rip. Oh, geez, look how slow they're going. That guy took forever. Look at this guy. Oh, he's just sitting there. Oh, now he goes. All right. 
Or we should do like the Mexican or the uh, <laughs> like you're gonna see me doing on Saturday. There would be no stinking rules. I'm gonna do that cannonball. It's gonna be a riot. Turn left. Oh, I got voice nav in here. Oh, don't tell me uh, the fire engine hit the dude. He had to back up. As he didn't back into the white pickup. Oh, <laughs> these guys. Oh, he stopped. Okay. Very little traffic here on the cross street compared to what we saw. Um, where we're trying to get out of Bushnells. It's a pretty cool trailer for free, and it's actually part of a two-pack. Or no, wait a minute. I got two free trailers, but I was in there getting this one. Boy, that uh, blow-off valve, yards, turn left. sure distinctive on this truck. Turn left. Green light. Let's let it roll. Oh, these guys are coming quick. It is Mexico. Wow. Yeehaw. Let's get out of here, see if we can get this frame rate up out in the country here, maybe. It's really bad right now, which is weird, because Wow, that guy go. Holy. <laughs> He's got a little fire under his backside. Another one in a Prius. Wow. Yeah, so uh, the engine is, uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I modified it because it's, 600 horsepower. I don't think the Z mod ones get to 600 horsepower. So I got 600 and 2200 foot, foot foot pounds, so it's it's equivalent to a, a top end Mac or, or sorry, um, Packard or Cat or Cummins. Got 355s in it. I figured 355s would be good because the I don't know how the 600 horsepower is going to work in here and what kind of load we we're going to get. But this isn't a very heavy load at 45,000 for this trailer. slowing down on that hill. Let's jump out in the roof, see what it looks like. Oh, when you're out here, oh yeah, there, there. The little scoops on each side of the center, uh, we get down maybe, you know, uh, center um, cab light. There's those two little scoops. Always intrigued me on Max when I was a kid. There's those scoops right there. Kind of cool. Probably really draw some air in. There's the control to let the air in right there. Oh my god. We're really ripping here.
a, a question for the viewers that aren't on the Discord. I probably asked a question there as well. Um, buddy's looking for a shifter. Like, I made this one myself. This is a real Eaton Fuller I've probably mentioned in videos before. Um, but man, it's expensive. Like, like, I'm in Canada, and to get this shifter here cost me 127 bucks. And then I converted it myself. And if you want to get the equivalent shifter, there was that southern trucker guy, but he went off the, the rails, I think, with overwork, and he he had so many orders, and I don't think he was a good delegator, and he couldn't get anybody to help him, or he didn't want anybody. So he took a break, and I don't think he ever came back. But, I mean, he had so many orders, the guy should have got somebody in to help him do parts of it or whatever. Anyway, he was taking real Eaton Fuller's like this and converting them. And, uh... But anyway, where does a guy get a good quality shifter? Now, what are you guys using for your, uh... Oh, there! Driver, Patricia, just did a $2,700 load. I wonder how many other ones I missed. Yeah, that cannonball is going to be a riot. I've done most of the route one way or another just to get familiar with it. And, uh, pretty set on the truck and trailer. Uh oh. Gonna be the, uh, Overfloater K100 DL Halcone skin. And the Berubin, uh, Chrome. Utility 3000 trailer with spread axle and a fairly long wheelbase on the truck, and that gives you good stability, good straight line stability. That should be a uh, pretty good drive with that. Not the most aerodynamic thing out there, but uh, it's got some things I like. It's got a great GPS up out of the way, but you can really see it. I guess, I, wow, we're really ripping here. I gotta keep the speed down a bit here. I don't see a speed limit yet. Catch traffic, it looks like. Oh, there's speed limits 50 miles an hour. Do taking a break out in the baking sun. Oof. I don't know where else you're going to go out here, it's not like you can get shade. So for the cannonball run, yeah, it's coming together. Got the load order all sorted out, and uh, there's a few slots left, I think, but by the time you see this video, they may be gone, I don't know. And there's, um, so two servers set up with identical load orders, of course. And it's gonna be fun. Recon has a, the cargo sorted out. So it'll be a load of uh, beer going from, uh, where are we going from? Oh yeah, New York to uh, 
Maybe, maybe the 421 print building or the HMS, I don't know. To the gallon oil refinery south of LA. Should be pretty cool. I have about three and a half thousand miles. What I can tell you for sure is the C to C portion of the map. It's a little easier to let her rip on there and than it is on the SCS part of the map. The intersections on the SCS. After 100 yards, turn left. On the SCS part of the map, they're more or less, oh, excuse me, realistic based on, oh, oh, missed that one. Based on real life uh, data, I guess. And the, uh, a lot of the ones on that C2C map are sort of cookie cutter. And so they're kind of repetitious and you see them coming, you know what to expect. But on the SCS one, every one is as pretty much different. So you gotta be careful what you're doing. If you're gonna be going at a rate of knots. Oh yeah, let's check this camera out. Oh, there we go. sort of settle down once he got around us. Oh, this could be interesting. I could better hop back in here. Oh, a bunch of twitching in the steering wheel around there. Not that you could see it, but I could feel it. It's like we're losing traction or something. Oh, man, I gotta take a photo. That's what I gotta do. Oh, I'm gonna find a little bit more scenic place to do it. Hang around out here till I see something. Uh oh, down the road. This here a low revving engine. This thing. Uh, wherever they got the torque curve, it's low. It's. No point in winding it up, it just rolls right along. Doesn't seem to be much point going past 1500 RPM, to tell you the truth. Um, if we get a chance, we've got 24 miles to go, we're going to run out of chances. I'd like to see a little hill here and see what happens. Get a little rise here, we're going to feed it some berries here. See what it does. All right. Well, <laughs> come on, baby. Uh, I wanted to see what happens when it gets over 1500. If it starts to go, there we go. 1500. Didn't see to pull any harder. Once the revs got up. Oh, there's a special transport load out of there. Oh, that's interesting. Let's look and see where we are on the map here. Right in here. Rail export has a special transport. Wow. That's kind of cool. I'll have to look into that. Uh-oh. And it's a typical rail transport, the small yard. Uh, that would be interesting. Might have to do that one. Oh, shoot. Never know how fast these guys are going. That guy's waiting for us. 
Oh, it's a light. <laughs> oh, who knew they obey traffic lights in Mexico? Good. Oh, I should take a photo right here. All right, mission accomplished. lot fewer terrain gaps or errors in this map than in the sea to sea that's for sure I guess what uh, recon was telling me about the sea to sea map at least uh, the dude who's doing it despite the fact it's it's all cut and paste of somebody else's work he does put the whole thing together and it acts like a connector for all the guys who want to make their map mods. So you got a whole bunch of independent people making, trying their hand at map making and they're making their, their local areas or some area that interests them. And uh, the thing that ties them all together is C to C. So I guess you got to look at that as a positive or, uh, you know, community of fledgling map, map makers. But those guys are making their maps, and C2C is cutting and pasting a whole bunch of stuff. So, ah, you know, it's Turn left. six of one, half a dozen the other. Darn if you do, darn if you don't. Oh, that's a nice, uh, that's a pretty wide gate. I like this truck. It's going to be, uh, I don't know if anybody's going to drive one in the convoy. Cannonball, rather. Cannonball convoy. There you go. Where do you need it? Oh, partially into the building. So the guy was commenting. Oh, let me see what the view out this thing's like. Oh, it's not so good. You can't get uh, Toby to turn around there. And the sleeper's right in the way. I wonder what it's like in uh, the uh, Dom 379, that out back window, driver's window, lean out view. The guy's commenting that he does the uh, B double hard parking with uh, staying in the cab. Man, that's awesome. <laughs> All the credit to him. There's a outside chance I could do it from uh, uh, if I was backing up to the left and I could see what was going on by looking out the window but I can't be able to tell what the two trailers are doing one in relation to the other and if you're turning off to the right like with that view in that right mirror where the rear trailer gets out of sight I don't know what a guy would do I got that mirror out too wide I can't can't see anything in any of these mirrors. Uh oh, I were just gonna do this and get it over with. Not too realistic, but hey, are we having fun or what? When the mirrors are good, I like doing it. I like using the mirrors, but you can see some. I think I might have. Yeah, the sleepers in the way of these ones here. We'll look again when we get. To Leave the truck at a bit of an angle. See what we see in that mirror. Yeah, I still don't see the trailer. Oh, it's sort of back there. Yeah, I can see the back end of it. That doesn't work so good, does it? If I have to experiment with them, I just put my standard adjustment on them uh, before the video, so. Some trucks I really like the mirrors on them, and some, eh, not so much. So there we are. Awesome. Cool. Oh, you know what we got to do now? 
we've got to go to use trucks, see what came up. Ah, uh, Peterville Day Cab. We're looking for vintage trucks. Oh, come on. Nothing? Oh, well, that's a lunch bag letdown. Dang it. Huh. What do we have for, what do I have for trucks? Uh, truck manager. Maybe we could, oh, I should check and see what I have for garage space first. What do I have that doesn't have a driver on that we could, be kind of fun to put somebody in, get them on the road. A needle nose. Oh, man. Don't, oh, that's the 281 third, 351. We've got it the Bison. We don't have one of those on the road. The 350. Do we have a 350 on the road? We do. Uh, we got the Diamond Rio Grind. Oh, we could put that on the road. The Diamond Rio. Let's see what we got going on here with this thing. Oh, that's a cool looking old truck, eh? I like it. Let's, uh, oh, it's got my, um, it's got MacGyver and my unit number. Huh. The one I'm driving in this video, the Mac, I have my own personal skin on it. So it's my unit number and my, and my name. Uh, engine. Five, six, that's lots. Tons of power. 18 speed. 325s. Wow. Get this person. Let's put a driver on that. If we got space. Let's go. Garage manager. Map view. Oh, we got. We don't have a whole lot of garages, do we? Or table view. Oh, we own all these. Nobody in them. We could do anything we want. Wow. Well, let's grab, oh, where's that truck? Diamond Rio. What was it? Someplace. That's, oh, it's up here somewhere. Darn. I had to buy all these trucks just to see that they would all work in the mod order together. So I got them all. Why am I not seeing it now that I need to see it? Oh, here it is. It's in Lillooet. What? <laughs> okay. I That's an idea. Let's put a driver on it up in Lillooet. And what we can do is see what, could, without a trailer, and we'll see what kind of trailer they end up pulling most up there. And then in the next one, well, this old fella here, he's got a 1.7. Good for him. That's, um, what's that? That's not high value. That's, yeah, that's high value, I guess. Higher driver. Sorry, buddy. We're sending you up to the frozen north. Oh, what? Oh, which one? That's the diamond drill right there. Cool. So we'll let him have at her and we'll see what he ends up doing. And so uh, driver manager, so I can see how these guys are doing. Oh, that one's brand new. Just started in the last video, I think. I think that ended up, oh, she's got the FLX, that's right, FLC rather, K100. Oh, this fella. What's going on with him? He's resting. Oh, equals power. It's a big one. And he's pulling that Rocky Mountain Devil. What? Man, hey, guy is just not doing good. Let's look at his logbook. Port Stockton, Colorado Springs, like he's getting decent mileage. And we've got him on hazardous cargo. Oh, that could be a mistake. Switch him to balanced. See if his, if he picks up. And like, here's one that's doing really good. Balanced. This one's not doing so good. Balanced, oh, my word. 
this gal on another profile, the used truck one is kicking butt. <laughs> Funny how that is, eh? Kenworth K100E. Pull on a reefer. And balanced in her log shows. Wow, that's a big haul. That's a good one. Well, we better just leave her alone for a bit. Let her find her way. This dude's balanced and just starting out. This guy's sort of starting out with a double O boy. Haul on the excavator. Uh, oh, we had a few bad goes here. I'll give him a chance to pull up the socks. I think these guys, other than that one we just changed, it's a Ben to balanced from Hazardous. Yeah, we'll see how things go for him now. Awesome. Well, the old fleet of old trucks, I think getting the Diamond Rio in there might be interesting. Maybe now we'll see one in the uh, used market again. It's kind of why I wanted to drive this one today to see if getting it out on the road is going to put some of them in the used market. So, uh, and if there is, we're going to snap them up. So, we'll see what happens in the next one. As always, guys, appreciate you following along. Take care, and bye for now.